Hello. <laughs> this is terrible lighting. It is. It's bad. I recognize that. I just wanted to say that up front. I think I look better with the glasses on. I don't know. This is completely a part two of Just Do It. This is how I started my YouTube channel. My boyfriend just like, if it was a cartoon, he would probably have given me like a boot kick. That took a, a lot of effort to pronounce <laughs> those two words side by side into the same concept it, of just doing something. Because I've been wrecking my brain for months. I started in November, definitely December, January, February, and now we're technically started March of what is my, the bad word of the internet. If the internet had one swear word, it would be this one, niche. So I've been wrecking my brain and with him too a few times, like, what is it? What am I passionate about? What could I talk about? What could I post and make my Instagram about? What's the one thing? Because that's what they tell you. It's the one thing. That is true. It is much more enjoyable and productive. I don't know, is productive their word? You show up to those channels that have just one thing more often probably than the other ones. At the same time though, not necessarily. For example, oh well, no, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I don't know what that thing is or if my thing is having not just one thing if one thing is many things for example i like learning a little bit about a lot of different things if you set me down to learn or do something just one thing for the rest of my life it would be hell so maybe it's a channel for people like that who also find that they get bored about just one thing and one thing only I mean, think about it on the other side of things. I watched this, um, I think it's Modern Millie, I want to say. I, I screwed her name up before, but I'd never posted the video, so no one knows, but you now know now. Right now. It's been a while, so <laughs> let me get back and find refine my voice and find my new voice and all that stuff anyways, and remember how to speak and, yeah, have thoughts sink to my mouth and they come out the words come out but anyway so i love her i love her but if i'm not doing anything uh, to grow my instagram or youtube i'm not going to watch that much of her videos you know so i was telling him my boyfriend i'm, I'm i feel a little better about calling him that than i have i was on the right page okay so so many things so many things i feel like i'm i would just i'll throw things out and you don't even know what's happening and i feel like i have to explain everything because that's me i don't know what to do right now but um okay one thing at a time oh my gosh i feel like a flood has unleashed those two don't go together a flood has been released i don't know it has just like flooded it just has bursted there you go <laughs> like a dam flood you know like a the dam burst and now there's flooding anyways i feel like that's happening to my brain right now in real time so many things i would want to talk about we agreed on a topic and i'll post the topic afterwards but i had to start off with something like this for my own sake for my own like i don't know if you know but if you're a writer you might know or even maybe a painter or something you just kind of start off just getting things out and then you get to the thing that you're trying to accomplish because there's a lot of basically debris in front of it or something like it i clicked on the ipad does not click on i turned on my ipad i swiped on my ipad on youtube i was going through a bunch of different stories from psychology in seattle love him dr kirk honda watch him so inspiring changed my life oh my gosh and then i clicked on a video about i think maxim chav 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 chavkovsky chav Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know. It's been a while since I watched Dancing with the Stars, so sorry. It was an ET segment talking about how he made it to Poland after having been detained in Ukraine and so forth. Somehow this came on, or I clicked on this, how to make $30,000 blogging or something like that per month, per week, per month. 
it had to be per month but it might have been per week it had to be per month though either way i was like it's not clickbait it's not that those things are not valuable but again it brought me back to what is the thing that i would blog about talk about all these different things that you can do to gain followers to gain momentum to expand your brand they're all literally expanding your brand and working with your brand but if you don't have a brand and you don't know how to get to your brand and don't know your brand then it's so useless and it makes me so much more frustrated so started just jotting down things then that took me to this affiliate marketing video it just automatically played I've, I've come a long way since i boycotted amazon by my own lonesome self obviously i wasn't i didn't anticipate at all any change or any of my money back but uh yeah i've come a long way since they cheated me out of a return on my camera that my mom sent wrongly to them long story it's somewhere in my vlogs if you feel like searching for it some people might so yeah but it might not be just that either way i just started writing down ideas all over the place again or still here we go right now i am instacarting door dashing uber eating meaning i'm the driver for those things that's how i'm making my income right now and i'm finally at a place where i can say i'm making my income that way because for a while i was making at most 200 dollars if I didn't have credit card debt, which got long story on that too, if I didn't have that, I probably would really be decent to live at home. So yeah, that's a thing. Just as a transition. So the thing is, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know. I don't know what my next steps are either. I don't know if there's more to, to this transition than just these jobs, but it does feel sort of created in a way like i have this pull towards i've always had this pull towards um having my own thing and doing more for this planet than just going to work for a company doing a job and then going home there's this swi switch there's this transition shift there you go shift there's this i i'm sorry i hate this like light i feel like this is so much better here we go it's it's terrible i cannot find my camera so excuse me i don't know why i'm yelling it's just in my youtube voice but this is kind of i think boring maybe i don't know maybe it's soothing i don't know i don't know but i need that energy i need to let this out so um yeah what was i saying this is i need someone to just be and be here and like remind me like this is where you left off <laughs> i really do uh that's the other thing that i wanted to kind of incorporate adhd i have not been officially diagnosed with it but it is kind of safe to say that i do have uh, i am on that spectrum i should say of adhd it's been enlightening to me in so many ways including where i am in life as far as career and jobs and how often i've switched jobs and passions it's not just fear of failure and fear of success but it's also that so yeah that's a whole other thing but just let me let me get back to the trunk instead of all these different branches i'm doing instacart <laughs> door hashing and all that and i definitely want to talk more about that because that's an experience i want people to know about more because i think a lot of people just don't know how that is on this side of things i know that i didn't know when i was ordering doordash first of all i would get people that were very dirty I, so therefore i just kind of didn't even use it because i was like i don't want my food in those people's cars and since then i realized the likelihood of them i don't know doing something to someone's food or there's people out there obviously but the likelihood of that you're so concerned with getting the food and getting your money the food is not an object of your interest at all it's literally you don't even know what you're picking up all you see is i'm picking up something you're seeing the mileage and you're seeing the what you would get paid and that's all that you're really interested in making your own income it's obviously not 100 percent on your own terms nothing is taylor swift isn't making things on her own terms right because like you are so dependent on people buying your stuff but in a different sense you are a whole lot more in charge of when you're making what money and then you can really feel 
someone in control of your life and can do more with life. It is not something that I would recommend, at least around here, from my personal experience and the way that I've been able to do it. It's not going to get you that much money, but a lot of people make a lot of money. If you're a guy and you feel safe to drive Uber, Uber, probably you do make a lot of money that way. I don't do Uber because of COVID mainly, but I do these food things. So it's okay, but it's it's not going to make you rich. Not in the way that I found things to be, not in this city. But it's kind of like, it is kind of fascinating and exciting to see it as a um, potential bridge to, from like that traditional go to work, work for someone else, be severely underpaid, gaslit about what you deserve to be paid and so forth. Gosh, it's a it's a long topic. So another day. It is kind of cool to detox from that too. I just what is that? It's like a dark circle bag situation. That that is horrible. It's also not real. It's like it's more shadow than anything. You can see like up close, but like oh. okay. So I'm looking at this list that I have of ways to have other income, right? Passive income, especially because I have other in ambitions than just doing anything that I'm doing right now. And even if I would do something like affiliate marketing or whatever, like I want to do more than that. Movies and music still on the table for me, but it's also I feel trapped by not having enough money. I don't feel like myself. So um, my ideas are a little stunted and also because I haven't really done it. With the pandemic, everything kind of shut down outside and inside. <laughs> um, podcast, YouTube. Hey, Instagram, I explored a little bit. I, I find it so boring and not where I am right now. And this is a, a huge important thing that I was thinking about when I was writing this down. Some of these were great at the time or like at some time in my life. But right now I have to be realistic of where I am in terms of maybe I, I'm in a stage of my life where I just want to write and do a written blog or a book or something. I'm not saying that's the thing that I came up with. I'm just saying just because I was something before doesn't mean I am now and doesn't mean I'll be, which is also what my boyfriend was saying. So still weird to call him my boyfriend and not by his name or by something else i don't know we'll figure that one out yeah he, he was saying pretty much the same exact thing so when he said it after i was had already kind of t thought about it although to also say just do it mentality kind of left me it's there i remember it vaguely somewhere in the past in the back past <laughs> but it's kind of foreign to me when I do it especially with the editing and especially I think because I wasn't seeing comfortable income uh, so I was more stressed with that and now that's a lot under control I feel better you know about it even though it's it's I don't want to think about the things that will make me overwhelmed about that one step at a time but yeah and so I don't rem remember what exactly I just said it, actually I think he said like you know what just do this video he gave me an idea and not this one the following one and just do it it was kind of like a coach mentor parent friend boyfriend but it felt more like coach or mentor or something i got you know like the i want to see it you know send it to me when you're done <laughs> you know i don't know i think i was saying something about how this mentality of just do it kind of escaped me and when he said it it kind of came back to me because i i think i was telling him I have all these ideas i don't have like what because he's like do what you love and everything else will come or you know whatever and there's a whole thing out, out there that i do believe like there's a difference between your passion and what you love and what your calling is or what you what you enjoy doing in a setting of income work maybe not even income but work wise versus i wouldn't want to be a professional pet sitter but i love my pet you know a lot <laughs> even art 
I kind of like doing it, but I don't think I like it to be my only thing. And so that's also the other thing is like, I am a, a person of many things. That's what I was saying. I'm like, yeah, but what is my passion? Like, that's what I've been talking about. What is my freaking niche? That ugly word, that evil, ugly, bad, swear, internet word. What is it? What is the one thing I like? What is the one thing I could talk about? What is the one thing? He's like, well, it doesn't have to be one thing. You, you, it doesn't have to be what it will be. It'll change, which everyone online now will tell you. All the influencers will tell you. Pivoting is a big one. And I can pivot. I can pivot. I can pivot. I'm pretty good at pivoting. Don't all on the internet, but when I make movies, I'm really good at pivoting. Anyways, we had this back and forth where it kind of like unlocked the door that I had locked. Because especially when I was, I tried this one influencer program thing that I almost paid a lot of money for and it would have been a bad move for me personally, at least. The idea of like finding that one thing just got kind of put in my mind so much that and even when I was doing and I was telling him when I was doing YouTube before gosh this is long oh my gosh but it's not that long it's only 27 minutes before it would have been 47 minutes by now and I don't know after editing hopefully even shorter this is like a recap this is like a reintroduction so it might hopefully this will be one of the longer ones or maybe not i don't know i like longer formatted videos i will i like 30 minute videos sometimes to just put on there they can be like if they're done right they're done right i'm not promising anything right now i'm figuring it out it'll be missteps and whatever but i am going to go with what he said and go back to my roots of youtube of just do it just do it just commit to posting every day or every three days or whatever or three times a week create something and just stick with that so which leads me exactly to where i left off look at that i'm coming back to my branches i'm not just leaving them when i started i saw this just do it thing as temporary and that eventually i will find my thing i started because i saw lily sing i don't like her superwoman channel now it's not superwoman but i don't like those videos the the sketches and all that i didn't like them i didn't like them they were always disappointing to me because the title the idea the concept of it was like oh my gosh i i, I cannot wait to see this and then i could not relate to the examples she gave however her vlogs i loved her vlogs they gave me energy they made me a hustler i didn't even know the word hustler before or i knew it but in a different context they made me like a go-getter and they made me productive and they made me alive it made me not just watch her but also do my vlogs and do my things and talk to myself in kind of a similar way of we didn't get everything that we needed to get done today but it's okay because of this and this and this it taught me so much in how to be productive her vlogs those were so much more valuable to me and that's what i kind of started doing to be productive i don't think i saw that as a way to make money just because that's how she saw it too she wasn't seeing it she was seeing it as like the supplemental like oh it might be fun but she didn't see it as the main bread winning bread making videos which blows my mind because again i'm like totally opposite on what i like i like her vlogs beyond everything else that she's done i'm i hope that's not insulting <laughs> because it also changed my life and it didn't change my life because she was like top five things to do today how to make thirty thousand dollars blogging you know she didn't do any of that in her vlogs she was just living her life she was basically being an example be the change you want to see in the world for me the same thing i thought this would be a transition into something like making parodies like song parodies try to handle that it was kind of fun it was not fun making them by myself and now i have basically a production team i could put together to make quality parody videos and i might do that but it's gotta start somewhere <laughs> so this was my introduction video of me coming back i hate saying that because i you have no idea how many videos i recorded saying that and also i don't want to jinx a lot of times i would say that and blah blah and then life was going on and then it went bad and then that just like no matter what people tell you that 
who cares what is going on in your life you you know you show up no you have emotions you are a living person things happen and it would be crazy or robotic or just not very human of you to not acknowledge those and not acknowledge that those influence you at the time but we'll we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see what happens but here we go intro video i also want to kind of talk about i do want to kind of say what i said to him earlier i was trying to write it down as he continued to talk i basically would love to like the one thing that i would love to do as a niche i hate that word i hate that word Ugh. i want to philosophize food for thought monologue type of thing commentary i think is another word that he's used about other people like the young turks being your opinion on something and you talking about your opinion on something or have conversations too about what i'm curious about and that's it that's like i guess my mission statement so that's why i wanted to like put it out there yeah and whatever flows into the world that into my world that day because there's so much because that was the other piece so that's like piece number one you know sometimes mission statements vision statements blah blah, blah they're, they're composites so that's like one and the other one is a curator that keeps coming up to me like the affiliate marketing blah blah, blah. i love sharing stuff with people i love sharing what i find out like oh did you did you find out about this blah, blah. <laughs> did you find out about this did you see this did you hear about this it's interesting because i'm coming from a place quite a little different i'm not on social media my social media accounts i think are technically up on the web but i don't really use them i haven't been on facebook literally have not been on facebook in months and it started from a bad moment from a bad reason i don't know if a bad reason but a negative time <laughs> negative reason you know there's downsides you feel more isolated but you can feel i remember before i dropped off of facebook before i met my boyfriend actually i remember feeling starting to feel very alone on facebook um on social media because you have these people and yeah some interact with you and you see what others do and you interact with them you know at the end of the day they either like sometimes people just don't understand they don't take time or they can't understand they're different they're living a different life and it's this weird friendship but not friendship you know where you don't sit down with the actual person and actually talk about something along with the political things that were happening that i just shut down from watching the news or just knowing anything um and so many things so it's going to look different because i listen to npr now just for the past i think two months i don't have spotify premium anymore because it was shared with my family and they took it off i also just got bored you can only listen to music so long when you're driving for hours i loved hearing stuff i love learning i love being curious i love npr personally most of the time it's not news kind of like the news is always repeated when you listen to it for five hours a day <laughs> so continuously a lot of really interesting segments like i found out arthur's last season is i think is this year or has ended arthur from pbs love that show i found out about brain donations and pigeons and a lot of things i don't even remember what really made me love and appreciate listening to npr was before everything started in ukraine they were there interviewing and giving getting out these stories about what was going on kind of on the ground from people's perspective it wasn't the news it wasn't things that were like talking about the political com uh, complications or the political issues or views of things blah, blah blah it wasn't anything like where you can f displace yourself that's not the word but just go with me just associate yourself from whatever is happening it was i cried i had tears in my eyes it i don't remember exactly the stories i heard about mexico and how like like their gun laws are completely strict they only have one gun store and yet so many gun deaths are happening because of illegal transportation of guns and all that and how they're suing the u.s i'm like this stuff i would love to like regurgitate and share with an audience that might not listen to npr same with Dr. Kirk Honda, excuse me, 
and personal development school Thais Gibson basically they're like in the psychology sphere things like that there's things that changed my life in both from both of those people that I want to share and you know and, and one of the things that I found disconnected from 42 no oh, so close we entered the 40s mark but one of the things that i found with being an influencer on instagram blah, blah blah a lot of people talk about how basically you can be a life coach you can be a coach of anything as long as you know they literally said this in this program as long as you know i forget the number but it was like 15 or 20 or 30 percent more than your audience it was not higher than 30 percent. that made me sad i think that was huge like strike i got for myself with that program from me to that program because i disagree with that there's a lot of terrible relationship advice for example that's completely inundated uh the internet and people's lives and minds and it's so destructive and they have no idea what they're talking about information that that's useful that maybe even a psychologist would say but they would say it in such a specific context and that context removing context is so huge it makes such a huge difference so anyway so things like that so that's the the other part so one is i want to philosophize and monologue or have conversation and or have conversations about what I'm curious about. I guess regurgitate would be the verb. Whatever flows into my world that day and share about that. Most likely add my opinion on it or just my experience receiving that information on that experience. So with that, with that said, I'm going to go and make a very short video about the topic I was made to meet in charge of. Made responsible for no in charge of i don't know given i guess like technically he came up with this topic and uh yeah i don't know i have no idea i i just want to say i have zero idea about what this video this next video will be i have zero idea but he wants to see it and i am all for that like i'm it's completely con con consensual he's not forcing me to make this video against my will but you know what i mean like i'm on board with uh, trying this this topic out or a topic video or whatever i don't know so so curious what will come out come of it and come out of my mouth trying to talk about this it might be a minute it might be 15 it might be half an hour i don't think it's going to be more than half an hour but here we go thank you for listening if you listen so far subscribe like does anyone click the notifications bar because i know i think i have notifications for some people and i never look at them so you can click on it it's not gonna change your life because you're probably just going to ignore it <laughs> when it notifies you that i made a video but it's there so might as well use it tune back in i don't know i don't know this is like a new venture new new things will be said as a closing remark so Speaking of, I'm not watching um, that presidential speech thing that Biden's doing right now. Shoot. I've never really watched it. I think I watched Obama's one speech like this. Uh, it's not that I don't. I don't know. It just didn't happen today. Have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. I had this, like, I used to have this closing with all these, like, buys in different languages and all that. We'll see if we, if I will resurrect that or if I will resurrect the royal we, which is not the royal we. It's like me and you, the audience you. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what will happen. I do hope I find my camera, though, and that you'll get a better visual, better quality out of this more exciting i might bring you on the road i might introduce you to the life of an instacart -er, or a door dasher or an uber eater which that's does see that one doesn't quite work does it or all of the aboveers i remember why i stopped doing these my laptop is doesn't quite work anymore editing is pure nightmare so uh we'll see we'll see how that goes Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just thinking about that. Maybe I should start a GoFundMe 
for a new laptop and i do need a macbook because for editing that's the only one that would work so i don't think anyone's going to be that kind um but anyways so have a wonderful day or night or evening afternoon wherever you are watching this if you liked if you've watched all of it please tell me because i really would be blown away <laughs> deeply appreciative and i would like keep you in mind no matter where i go with my career and however far i make it i you will be as they call it an og i guess but you would be you would be remembered so please let me know comment below something you know from it or what you got from this how it made you feel ideas thoughts comments whatever so uh likes dislikes just let me know all of it yeah like subscribe Click for notifications if you're into that. Visit my other stuff, my Instagram, etc. Yeah. Oh, so much I want to say, but I'll stop there. I'll stop there. <laughs> that was really weird. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to say it again, but you know what to have. Have a wonderful whatever. And I'll talk to you later. Cool. Peace and love and compassion and health and intelligence. Nah, I don't know. Peace, love, and compassion. I don't know what else to add to that. I know there's something else, but right now, let's just move this forward and into the next video. All right, cool. Bye. Peace, love, compassion. I don't know what to do.